right? So one of my favorite sprint accessory exercises is going to be straight leg bound to sprint. Um, now it's a more advanced drill. So those just learning the basics on how to sprint more efficiently, uh, probably not for you. This is going to be for the um, upper end high school into college uh, level athlete. Um, it's one of my favorites because it is, it, it's a, it's a telling exercise for rhythm and it's very challenging. Can you pull how you're supposed to when you're sprinting? So pull back into hip extension like you're supposed to um, with the hamstring. And can you maintain posture um, although you're changing, changing movement? So one of the key or some of the key points of this is um, as violently as we kick, okay, as, as violently as we bring the leg up, Okay, that's how as violent we got to bring it back down, or probably even more violent. We got to pull because this is where our, our money is made. We really have to pull into the ground to project ourselves forward. Um, and then the second part of it is being able to keep our chest in a vertical posture, right? We don't want to go from um, like a laid back uh, straight leg bound position. We want to be, be able to, to maintain that vertical posture, okay, to hold this right here. So that way, when we transition to our sprint, um, that we don't have any torso uh, fluctuations there. Um, and then the third part would then be getting, gaining enough speed to transition to our sprint properly. Because if we, even if we maintain a vertical posture through the straight leg bound portion of everything, um, if we don't have enough speed and then we try to go to sprint, um, our brain is going to tell us to launch our body forward to accelerate. Because it, it still wants to gain speed and it's going to figure out a way to do that. And we have to get into that acceleration forward lean position uh, to accomplish that task. So um, maintaining posture, gaining enough speed are, are the biggest points here. So I'll just kind of do some live action, some live reps, right? So we don't want to be leaning back here because when we go to sprint, then I have to launch myself forward. It's going to throw everything off balance. Um, and then even if I do maintain the posture, if I just go, don't gain enough speed, I don't want to do this either. Okay, so um, I'll do a full rep right here. You want to make sure that we get ample time to build up speed. So you want to be able to straight leg bound um, and build up for anywhere, I don't know, 15, 20 yards is probably a good, uh, good distance for most athletes. And then the sprint can be as long as you want. You can make it a, turn it into a fly 10, 15, 20, 30, however long you want to go. Just make sure that you keep your reps low um, to match however long you're going to match the intensity. So Gonna do a full rep here. All right, so we're building up. Gain speed, gain speed, gain speed. Turn it over. Right, so gaining enough speed. It should be a seamless transition. You shouldn't need to shuffle um, and get into your sprinting technique. It should just be, um, you know, transitioning from straight to bent knees. Straight to bent knees. It all, you know, after all, it's the same motion. This. And here, the same motion, I'm just one, I'm bending my knee, and the other one, I'm not. 